Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I would like to thank all the Community Networks team. You have done so well working together to meet each other in new ways using Google Duo and Microsoft Teams, as well as meeting each other face to face on your community walks. We will keep doing all of these things. Now I'm really pleased to tell you that soon we can get back to our community networks buildings. Because of the coronavirus there are changes to the way we can use the building. This is to keep everyone safe. You won't be in the building as often as before, you won't see as many people in the building and groups will be much smaller. This short film will show you what the changes are and what you need to do to keep everyone safe from the coronavirus when you are in our community networks buildings. Before you come to your group, staff will call you to make sure you and the people you live with are well. They will ask if anyone in the house has symptoms of the coronavirus. These are a high temperature, persistent cough and changes to your sense of taste or smell. If you or anyone in your house has any of these symptoms, you must tell the member of staff and you cannot come to your group. Please come to your group at the time you are given and wear a mask if you can. If you arrive early, you will need to wait outside as we can only have one person entering the building at a time. Same as before, you will press the buzzer to open the door and staff will let you in. The member of staff that lets you in will be wearing protective clothing. You must use the hand gel as soon as you come into the building. You will see it as you enter. The staff member will sign you in and check your temperature. Getting your temperature taken is quick and easy and it doesn't hurt. If you have a high temperature, you must go home. Staff will help you with this and make sure you and everyone else keeps safe. You will be guided to the area where your group will take place. When walking through the corridor to your group, you need to keep two metres apart. You need to keep left and follow the footprints on the floor. Your group will be set up in an area where you can keep two metres apart. It is important to stay in your group area and not go into any other rooms. If you need to go to the toilet, make sure only one person at a time. You now need to lock the main door behind you and remember to wash your hands. There are posters and signs in the building to help you remember to stay two metres apart and to let you know how many people can be in a room at the same time. There are also footsteps on the floor to show you what side to walk along in the corridor. There are hand gel dispensers on the walls for you to use after you have touched a surface or taken part in your group. We will make sure that the building is kept clean throughout the day and there will be a deep clean once everyone has left the building. We will also make sure there is plenty of fresh air by keeping the windows open as much as possible. When your group has finished, you can help to keep everyone safe from coronavirus by making sure that you clean anything you have used or touched in your group. When you are ready to go home, you must leave one at a time and remember to use a hand gel on your way out. It is also important you remember to follow the footsteps and keep left in the corridor. Thank you all for watching this film. By doing all the things we showed you in the film, 
we will help to keep everyone as safe as we can from the coronavirus. I would like to take this opportunity to say a great big thank you to Michael and Andrew for helping make this film. I'd like to finish by saying we are all really looking forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you.